part of the game. This is how I do it. All right, yeah, so to get pretty technical, which I don't like to do normally, but <clears throat> um, it's important to get technical with the grip because if, you, if your grip's not right, you're going to have to be an exceptional player to, to succeed. Um, so if you make a little V with your hand, with your thumb and your index finger, and you run it down the left side of this bat, you come up to more or less this angle here on the grip. That's where I like to have my V of my left hand, all right? Um, and same with my right hand. I put it pretty much in the same spot there, just on the left hand side of the left edge of the bat. All right, if I get the Vs right, just on the left there of the middle of, of the top of the grip, I sort of just grip it then. When I hold it, it's important not to have an angle on your wrist. All right, it must be really firm straight down, not bend this way or that way. And right throughout your shot, it needs to stay similar to this. All right, that this gives you really strong power um, in steering the ball wherever you want to. Your right hand is obviously the power hand. Um, they talk often about the bottom hand. So this is the right hand for a right-handed batter. Also, I like to have the view in a similar kind of line, but with this, with this hand, you only hold with the two fingers. All right, so don't worry if you can't get all the fingers on. More often than not, you'll only have two fingers on the bat. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. And every now and then your fingers will get on, but it will happen naturally. Don't think about it. These two fingers are the most important. Get it on that line, on the same line as your left hand. And then once you feel comfortable, you're ready to go. I can think of some of my friends, a guy like Graham Smith, who was an incredible cricket player, but his grip was very, uh, very strong on his, on his left hand, which meant that he had a bit of a bent on his, on his wrist and a very closed face. He still made it work because he's a very talented human being, but it sort of limited him in some of the shots, especially through the offside. He found it really difficult to open up his bat. Whereas if you have this strong grip running down the left hand side of the bat, you are open to play the The Oboka Abid Villers hit the fastest 150 in one day international history as South Africa massed 408 for five wickets in their Pool B match against West Indies in Sydney. De Villers reached 150 from 64 balls, beating the previous record set by Australia's Shane Watson by 19 balls. He finished unbeaten on 162 from 66 balls as South Africa made the second highest total in World Cups. Only last month, he hit the fastest ever ODI 100 against the same team in Johannesburg from 31 balls. In that same innings, South Africa's captain also set the record for the fastest 50 in ODIs from 16 balls AB De Villers records in full one. AB De Villers scored the fastest 150 in one day internationals from 64 balls. The previous best by 19 balls. 2. Dave Villers' 52 ball ton was the second fastest in World Cups. Ireland's Kevin O'Brien made a 50 ball ton against England in 2011. 3. South Africa's 408 for 5 the highest team total in one day internationals by any side in Australia 4. South Africa's total was the second highest in World Cups. India made 413 for 5 wickets against Bermuda in 2007. 5 period West Indies seamer Jason Holder conceded the most runs in a 10 over spell in World Cups finishing with 1 for 104 Holder conceded the most runs in 2 consecutive overs in one day international 64.